Hello, good day everyone and welcome again to another episode of our uh, recorded gameplay session here in Stellaris. So I'm still speaking, the uh, moderator here in uh, the Mercury Conservatory. So we're just gonna continue on where we left off on our um, Stellar Empire here, which is the Seraph Corporate Alliance. So uh, I'm uh, going to continue on the campaign that we left off from our uh, previous login session. So okay, let's uh, start. So uh, for the time being, uh, previously there was an intelligence report that the uh, Provokan Soviet regions were preparing to uh, amass a huge army or naval fleet uh, to make war with the Sara Corporate Alliance. So in response with that, the Sara Corporate Alliance is uh, now mobilizing its um, its whole armed forces. Now the only question here is that I'm currently debating or more like thinking on to myself is that who will attack first? It's, uh, it's either uh, the Sarah uh, Corporate Alliance wants to launch a preemptive strike or not. Potential market survey uh, up completed. to now my spies here on the uh, sovereign regions is currently uh, uh, searching for, uh, of course, in information if the whole armed forces of the SCA can uh, attack the uh, Provogan Sovereign regions. So uh, I'm also preparing my army right now at the same, same time. So uh, I think the only uh, I think the only uh, thing I have to do right now probably is, of course, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, uh, I, I think I'm gonna overblot my, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, my uh, naval capacity. So I'm just going to. Uh, as we can see here, our relations here have already soured to the point of negative 1751 and it changes negative 2 every month. So, uh, Upscaling. yeah, I guess uh, probably if I'm prepared in a couple of next a few months, I'll probably launch a preemptive strike for the uh, uh, against this, uh, uh, against this, uh, the Povogans. So for now, our main idea is, our main objective is to claim this claims interface. a mega structure. To lay claim to star systems owned by others. Okay, uh, true and tech, I forgot, I'm going to make a decision here that there will be no bio pops or stops uh, growth of all uh, pops because this is just a research center. Um, okay. Uh, but we'll go with this one. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a research yeah, it's a research planet or a tech world, but it has a high industrial uh, districts. So just in case to cope up with production, of course. Okay, uh, I don't have yet. Uh, probably I'll set. Uh, I think an observation listening post here so that I could uh, observe the nearby fleets here. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, so I'm still uh, thinking if they will try to. Um, Okay, we got the first, second, and third fleet ready. So, first, uh, second, and third fleet. Probably we have to merge this one along with uh, this. So this will be um, the fifth fleet will be renamed uh, Fort SCA Fleet. This will be the. Uh, uh, SCA Fort Fleet. Now I'm going to uh, go to the fleet manager here and see if uh, we can come up with. Uh, oh, okay. So this is uh, quite a surplus of sturgeon class. 
so probably I'll uh, um, okay uh, probably I'll add some uh, designs here add ship designs uh, or we'll go for albatross uh, okay so there seems to be some uh, Ah, okay, Cadbury is probably the same. used within our empire are designed here. New hull I guess sizes and components will be unlocked so, uh, as we the research best way new technologies. Of course, course launch a preemptive. Uh... When declaring war, we also need to declare our intentions to both our enemy and any allies. Okay, These so I guess determine the, what kind of demands we can the press SDA during peace negotiations. So we wish I had that a preemptive strike is necessary to uh, get rid or disperse the provoked threat. So for now, the fourth fleet will be on standby. Um, the first, second, and third fleet will. Ah, oh, okay, we have to wait for the declaration. Okay. Well, they will be followed by the army or the SEA get the Marine Legion. So, um, we're not sure how fast the Pavogan Sovereign Legions produces their navy. Huh. Okay, let's see. Anyway, just to take note, the uh... Okay, we'll go for fascinating with that, but the main... Just to take note that the main reason why the uh, SCA is declaring war is to eliminate the threats posed by the Povogan uh, sovereign regions. It's more, it's more like an offensive war, but the reasons why we're having an offensive war is because of defense, because intel sources. Okay, uh, yeah, and we're gonna launch an occupation engaged. force with that. Uh, it seems that there, this is the fleet that we're currently detecting, only three. But, we'll never know. Upscaling complete. Yeah. Well, this is pretty normal because I've already overhyped my navy, so it's estimated that things will go uh, more like things will get negative until I lose more of my uh, navies here. So we're now going to attack the capital or the Kovab, which is the capital of homeworld system of the uh, Povogan sovereign region. So hopefully, we could destroy the uh, Povogan uh, navy here. So we got one, two, probably they got three here. Potential market survey Plus completed. planetary defense. Uh, hopefully, uh, I hope we do have enough. Um, okay. Uh, okay, let's see if we're gonna crush their name here. So this is a big gamble for the SCA. Okay. So our main, uh, main focus here is to Future target market. the naval so fleet of the Fogan Sovereign regions. Okay, they're now starting to engage. Okay, so they got 200,000 uh, fleets here. Okay, things are looking. Okay, Commencing uh, seizure let's of see planetary how asset. the uh, fight is going. So there's a lot of colors, very sharp, it really hurts my eyes. <laughs> okay, so the uh, warfare here seems to be going pretty well for the SCA. They destroyed the uh, Provogan Navy. Okay, and we're going to... Uh, Planetary market secured. <laughs> right. Well, what's this? Next to me, she has this link thing that has increasingly toxic. Uh, deeper we go, parts of the shadow usually probably by catastrophic event that got created in the first place. 
the need for protective countermeasures and decontamination plan. Okay, let's do what you have to do. While the SCA is busy with the uh, demilitarizing the Kabulgan sovereign regions, or well, at least eliminating the military threat. The main target of the SAR objective is to destroy the Navy anyway. So as you can see, they've already have 30% more exhaustion rate, and uh, we're currently attacking now their home world. So um, in the meantime, I'm gonna contact my science vessel just to. Uh, but he's too afraid, so I'm going to uh, scavenge and uh, order him to scavenge the system. Okay, if any aliens, we're going to uh, worry about that later. For now, the uh, SCA Navy is basically busy uh, laying siege on the Kovokan homeworld or home star system. army is of course or the Provolgan expeditionary oh victory is the world is best possible answer okay so they've already ceded so we got a new territory here okay uh, uh, okay can we declare another war here should have proposed uh, this screen allows us to choose a preset for our agreement and to configure its individual terms. Each preset provides a tailored set of responsibilities yeah, okay, we'll and obligations we'll for both subject and overlord. And we're gonna bleed him dry with the commercial. Of course they're gonna reject that. All in all, K four. Yes. Okay. No limited diplomacy expansion is prohibited. Uh, yeah. They're probably going to be good as um, probably our scholarium could use uh, some sort of a uh, but I but we're not gonna wage war with them for the next 10 years so uh, for the meantime we got a new um, a new system that is uh, in place the cool bag um, okay how do I name their system so we're just gonna keep them firm um okay we got new populations here the presayant so we gotta also have an ethics here so uh well policies for uh presapients uh -huh. subjugation war terms taller presapients we need them so we're gonna not we're going to protect them not in the sense that we value sacred life but we need workforce laborers which is uh yeah we're gonna go for protected so it, it's more of practicality rather than hunt them down they could be used as a workforce this one uh we're gonna set their rights okay the species rights list allows us to customize the okay, citizenship and living uh, standards of a certain go for species. Social welfare for other them. Things. Upscaling complete. Just to keep them at bay so they're not gonna go. Uh, no, we're gonna exempt them. They're not needed for the military. It's a bad thing that we arm them, but we need them for colonization because uh, you, you know planets for the workforce. Migration controls. Migration controls enabled. We don't want them roaming around. However, they can uh, chattel slavery, domestic servitude. Uh, in the service, can be employed in workers or specialist jobs, but retain more political power than other than slaves. They cannot work, entertainer, or soldier jobs. Obviously, slavery, basic production bonus only apply when one. Okay, I think this is good. Yeah, we can. Well, we're not gonna give them. They're not exactly uh, 
Now for sapiens, we're gonna allow them because we need them to colonize uh, several worlds for us. So for now, uh, we're gonna name this PM. We're gonna keep the name. So, uh, okay, we're just gonna go down great. Oh, no. No, no, we're just gonna change this as a form of defense and trading. Um, so, salvage works. Uh, okay, probably, yeah, I think it's best we go with this one two quarters and then we upgrade this facility so we're not uh so okay now that we have uh, resolved the problem with that now we should head back east uh as a patrol here on this uh problematic con fortunately i uh oh uh, we already established a listening post there so that's okay okay so this allowed uh, which is good this allowed uh, several workforce uh, opportunities for the uh, um, for this uh, species so in the meantime yeah I think I, I'm gonna have to set the rights here uh, I think we should enable okay okay migration controls are enabled that's okay yeah we're okay with that what's this sector Okay, um, main species of growth here, to be honest, will be, um, uh, what do you call this? Growth populations here. Vem, yeah, of course. Vems and robots. Okay, this is a nice suitable candidate. Uh, case. Uh, so this is a triple star system, but uh, shows uh, opportunity. Okay. Um, well, obviously this is a fortress world. If, yeah, I, I guess. Well, Arctica. Okay, so uh, of course the Quem will not be allowed to settle on the core regions. They're kind of old. This not allowed. So probably we're just gonna throw them out somewhere in the provinces. Uh, okay, what's the nearest? Uh, uh, probably I'm going to have to. Okay, I'll just let that. So we'll leave it for now. Outlier identified. Uh, I guess we don't have awful trading here. <coughs> well, we got two uh, rare um, tech speed. So we are now moving to four planets. Robot assembly plants. Um, uh, we have to change this one. Probably replace this with. Um, well, we'll keep the slaves at bay. So, administrative office. Well, probably I think it should be not. Uh, it should be at least a police force. So, populations. The main priority here is the Pavogan. That's locked. Or we could put them on the security force. Yeah, probably have to change that later on. Put System them into has a security been surveyed. Force. Well, honestly, I'm not very uh, comfortable arming the uh, Quem with um, well, with arming them with uh, or letting them in on the soldier. Uh, Research actualized. But any, but we need them at least to maintain the law and order here. Uh, 
uh, anyway it was a short war I was expecting it to be a more uh, a very bloody war but uh, okay we're, anyway we're good with that so this will two worlds will probably be a farm world yeah I guess we have to uh, Okay, uh, we have to assign it. Oh, Research okay. actualized. So first contact with Okay. So it's still work. Uh, they're kind of busy right now. Okay, I've got to. Uh, SC SCSI will have to be cancelled. Probably have to move it here. Okay, um. Yeah, I think I'll just let this one with the... Uh... So I'm just gonna switch this one with automatic. Upscaling complete. Okay, that's good. Detritus analyzed. Okay, so trade boots for the uh... Food body station. Okay. As our empire grows, trade between our planets will become an increasingly so large part station of our is economy. Basically, uh, well, a star base to monitor the uh, Khan here. So for the moment, I'm going to restation uh, some of my armed forces here, or the So first and third fleet will be stationed there. Fourth fleet will have to remain here. Gonna integrate them. I guess there's some problems here. Uh, okay, so this is the salvage fleet. Fascinating. But probably I have to integrate them with the port fleet. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, analyze in this area. So the uh, SCA again the Marine Legion will have to be stationed here as uh, in orbit of Liam. Um, just as a safety measure in case uh, there would be a uh, rebellion. So for now we're gaining territory here. We won the war with them. Oh, okay, so this is bad. I never realized there were two contact points in this area. Uh, okay, uh... Anyway, we're kinda lacking... Combat um, detritus reprocessed. Okay, we're just For gonna accept them as naval workforce farmers. Uh, okay, Connors Prime will be Bardenas. And um, this will have to be due. Um, yeah, New Lebanon. Uh, well, Lebanon, yeah, that's a nice sounding. Uh, Okay, so we've already set up. Yeah, they're still pissed off from uh, them being defeated. Obviously, uh, there's low stability here, so we're going to institute martial law first. Uh, from Vogan. Uh, military service. Uh, we can go soldiers actualized. only. But we can't change the policy until uh, 2237. Identified. So I guess they just have to wait for that. Uh, there's a few robots now available, but uh, we still can't customize them. Okay, uh, that's good. Potential market survey completed. 
Combat the Trilis reprocessed. Yes, 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 Good to know about your services. Okay, so there's a new service to offer. Hello friends, our years of collaborative study have really whisked by. The way I hear it, a few of our engineers have picked up a few tips from you as well as you from us. However, the agreed upon times are lapsed and we could use though those keen mind appreciated of ours back at home. That is, unless you're willing to compensate them. Yeah, I guess that's a deal. Okay, uh, goodbye. Okay, um, probably we'll go for the nebula refinery with this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Right, uh, okay. So basically, the SCA government is an oligarchy that is. Uh, well, it's an oligarch, but uh, uh, currently it's dictatorial. It's composed of scientists and military personnel, so it's a combination of science and military. The military forms the backbone for security, while the science proves uh, provides the uh, tech advancements and governorship or administrative to be specific. So uh, overall, although uh, it is a technocratic dictatorship, its origins come from a mega core. Or at least in its early founding years, it was a mega corp. <coughs> okay, we got a uh, uh, surplus of minerals here. What's this? Ah, oh, okay, the term offers come. However, we could certainly be willing to send a request if we still have the use of our services. Those they had spent to us or turned to us, they're terrible. Uh, yeah, I think it's a deal. Okay, goodbye. Detritus analyzed. Okay, so for now, the con here is uh, a waiting target. Yeah, I think we would like to provoke it. Yes, um, 3,000. Yeah, we're just gonna have to hire them. Well, they, they basically, initially they hired, uh, the Pobogan hired them to wreak havoc on us, and now it's our turn to uh, hire them to wreak havoc on the Pobogans. Research actualized. And of course, we'll keep our defenses here just in case they wanted to. Uh, 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 you know, double cost us, complete. or they want to, in case that they want to double cost the SCA, we, we still keep our defenses here. Oh, well, there's a, a guy has been surveyed. Today. So fine. Uh, uh, we have to probably set up uh, an out, and then here, an outpost here, just to uh, cordon off this whole uh, section. In the meantime, it seems that the uh, well, Savage Fleet, so we're going to, uh, well, we're probably going to put the Savage Fleet there. Um, there's really nothing much they could do, so uh, I'm just going to put this on a on, uh, research, uh, research uh, mission. Okay, uh, yeah, probably I have to scrap this fleet as well, the fourth fleet. But I guess I, I, it's okay if I'm on negative, on the negative side right now. As can't, uh, no sector, so this will be a fortress for Arctic uh, defensive sector. Um, okay, so this will be a fortress world. Uh, yeah. So it comes to populations. Nope, I'm going to see. Oh, 
Okay, um, we're going to uh, stop biological popcorns. So we're just gonna put some robots here. Okay, we're okay with that. <coughs> As our empire grows, upscape governors can be assigned to administrate entire sectors. Okay. All planets within the sector will then benefit from the governor's so skills. Pedro, we should assign uh, one to our new sector. That sector. Well, we'll just name this one. Um, probably we're just gonna go for basic uh, production focused. Um, okay, transfer resources. Probably we'll go for minerals. Yeah, minerals will be fine with them. So I'm just gonna set this one to automatic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna name this one. Our new sector governor has assumed office. Arctic. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. We name the sector Arctic sector. I'm just gonna name this one sector. To be generic. Hmm. So it's a small, uh, uh, it's a small uh, uh, sector. Okay, uh, we're going to build us an outpost here. Oh, okay. So this one I have to move to Hazra. Okay. Right, so it was a quick war with the Pavogans. But of course, expect that there will be some uh, uh, land grabbing or space grabbing. So for the moment, it seems that the SCA is the only competition for the SCA on the southern side of this galaxy is the Povogan, um, uh, Povogan uh, sovereign region. Okay, right. Uh, Okay, that's good. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. <laughs> I'm not sure. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Colonial Enterprise okay, so, upsizing. Um, well, there seems to be a few bandits here because Vortex. <clears throat> uh, for now, we just uh, probably have to prepare our uh, navy later on. So for the fleet, I'll... Uh... Okay, so where's this fleet? Upscaling okay. complete. Uh... Oh yeah. Of course, we have to decipher the alpha aliens here. First contact with head at Hephos. Uh, I think some year we have to be re um, reassigned. Upscaling complete. Okay, let's claim this territory so we can annex this whole area. Near the uh, central uh, galactic... Near the... Uh, Galactic Center. Right. Uh, probably have to put the uh, this arm. Where is this located? 
Act along inside. Okay, so I guess, yeah. Uh, we have a strong community anyway. So, uh, consumer magic market, please, which I'll cover it. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Future market survey complete. So for now, there's still some shortage of food, but um, that's the least to worry about. Upscaling complete. Uh, Bardenas. Okay, that's the name of the planet we develop. Fortress World. Uh, case. Oh, okay, the automatic one. Okay, that's fine. Uh huh. Okay, transfer resources. A Probably system transfer. has been surveyed. Okay, that's good. Special project actualized. So, um. Yeah, okay, so the excess minerals and resources will be put on the sector so they can properly manage themselves. And saves me the time to micromanage the whole government. See, they're uh, building the uh, uh, huh. Well, this one's. Uh, we need some Research food right now, so we're gonna go for processing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna go first with. Uh, oh, okay. There's not a vegetative, uh... Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go with processing, food processing facilities. Oh, strange, there's no, uh... Administrative here. Okay, that's good. Future market survey complete. Okay, so I'm going to let most of uh, the AI uh, automate the uh, functions of these uh, corporate alliance so it makes so my uh, burden of micromanagement is lessened. As you can see here, all of them are automated. And let's see if the uh, Stellaris uh, computer AI is uh, its uh, work or if, all, if the uh, Paradox has already improved the AI uh, system. So for now, this whole sector is probably free. Um, okay, picking activists. Uh, honestly, I could send uh, more like a puppet government here. Yeah, probably it's best I send a puppet government or create a puppet government state. Okay, they have to be dealt with. The populace of Finn has been discontent with the rule for some time now, and their defense has become more and more brazen, and the sets are openly calling for independence from Rim. A show, a show of war may be necessary here to keep control of the colony. Okay. Start situation, parliamentary revolt. Okay, so this is like any other... Uh, I probably have to uh, put my uh, gendarmerie region si since the the gendarmerie is specifically built for uh, uh, I'll just keep them here just in case they put a revolt we can just uh, simply crush them and by the way uh, the gendarmerie specifically is a peacekeeping force more like they, they have police powers to quell the uh, uh, any revolting, uh, any revolting, uh, uh, what do you call this? Any revolting uh, state or uh, occupied territory. Huh. Well, I've already put martial law, and they still have negative two. Research actualized. Uh, I think I'm gonna choose this one as entertainment and we're gonna 
Yeah, put them on a hub. I mean on a farmland to work with. Okay, right. Three, uh, cost is 1,620 unity points. Huh. Okay, that's okay. Planetary Revolt on Fiem. Hopefully this isn't getting any worse. Maintain current measures, institute a crackdown, obviously. That's what we're going to do right now. There was one philosophy I've heard mm -hmm. from a, a game, instead of showing violence, we have to at least buy them and see if this works. After all, I got a surplus of uh, amenities. So at least bribing the officials or the local, uh, uh, local tribesmen or whatever you call this. Now if that doesn't work, then we're gonna institute a crackdown. Because if we uh, institute a hard uh, lockdown, we have to call our uh, police forces and may result in uh, loss of lives. So I guess the best way to subdue an enemy is not lifting any force or lifting any uh, violence. Okay, we're just gonna post. Good business is where you find it. Okay, um, yeah, I think. Okay, I'm gonna move here, and then uh, probably I'm gonna make a puppet government here in the north. We might need them just to quell uh, hopefully do this. Oh, what's this? Ah, the lady feet that were in carriages. Okay, I didn't know they were that uh, weak. Ah, great. Okay, so we're gonna rent them again, just to at least destabilize them. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that the raiders or the marauding fleet were that weak. I was expecting them to be at least 16,000 or strong or something. So we got one, two, three, four, five planets plus the main ring world, which is central. So most of these are uh, basically uh, more like a slave planet, <laughs> or I mean worker planet. A system has been surveyed. Okay. Okay, talks to Terrified Kennedy. Okay, fascinating. Alright, hopefully, this empire isn't exactly another marauding empire. Okay, we just A system right. has been surveyed. Okay, so things are doing good right now. Oh uh, excellent. Okay, let's see where our science So I'm going to send them on projects. Okay, so our side sources are pretty much be busy. And our... Uh, hmm. Well, uh, we're just gonna fix our... Um, we're just gonna close the border here. 
Upscaling complete. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna cancel this one so I can make a puppet government here. So we'll probably give them at least this uh, four small sectors here. Research actualized. And they're gonna be uh, seated as a, a puppet government. Okay, um, now this, um, I'm going to change this one. We're gonna go for joint workers because uh, we're gonna need those robots as a more like a workforce. Or at least a suitable workforce for the uh, SCA. For example, this is a tomb world. We could send a robot droid colony to mine its, uh, you know, resources. Okay, so um, we're going to um, change this one. We're gonna stop the robots here. Uh, we're going to allow pops to normally grow. So any planet on the coalition sector, um, robot pops are not allowed, only on the provinces. This too, of course, is a failsafe. Uh, right, okay, I, I made a mistake here. I think I should have, uh... Okay, I'm not gonna... Okay, so this was a mistake. Mm -hmm. I probably have to set, uh... Oh great, this is a problem. There's our ancient mining drones here. Yeah. Okay, so this is a problem in my case. Uh huh? No. Okay, we have an extra funding with them. Okay, so they seem to be receptive. Which is good for us. I mean, good for the SEA. A special project actualized. Okay, now the main problem here is where would I set up a puppet government? Yeah. Potential market survey completed. Uh hi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to set Research up here. Research actualized. Mode harvesting. Oh, great. Uh, I think that's my mistake on that part. And I have to send... Uh, Okay, I'm just have to send a science vessel here and then to excavate this one. Once excavation is finished, I'm going to, uh, of course, uh, set a, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, puppet government here. Special project actualized. So probably I have a more like a buffer, uh, buffer state in case of any invasion from the SEA. Uh, in case any invasion of the SCA will uh, arrive in the future. Okay, uh, right, where's my construction ship? Here. Uh, for the moment, yeah. 
Upscaling complete. Uh, I'm gonna go send the, uh, the science vessel on a uh, uh, on a <coughs> science mission. Okay, uh, this is a problem. Well, we've encountered a species here. First of those peacocks. Potential market survey completed. Uh, right, so things are uh, quite going. Hello, friends, are you going over there? Or risk it over there. Pick out a few tips. We would like to use those kidney. Uh, it's a deal. Just to boost up our engineering until the droid uh, armies have been, uh, or at least not exactly droid armies, but the droid. Uh, what's this? Okay. I'm uh, limiting communication possibilities are within our group. Okay, so we got a ironic monarchy harmonious collective. So they're pacifist, they're authoritarian, and they're materialist. So basically they're a monarchy that's not exactly uh, aggressive. So I think we'll get along fine. So this Kanuri nation is somewhere uh, up on the uh, as long as there's a buffer. Okay, greetings. Where's our adventures? Turn us. Greetings, sir. We have sent you. No, uh, good to know about your... Okay, goodbye. Uh, okay, I don't see anything wrong with this one. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm okay with this kind of way closing up their borders. Uh. Okay, this is the uh, uh, one of the star mission uh, related on the southern end. Probably have to upgrade a fortress here. A or, system has yeah, been saved. Fortress. Okay. Yeah, high quality. There has to be more. See, but our scanners do not react well to our issues in the geological mean that we have to. We have. Let the sky work. Look more than this. Well, since the uh, DSA is greedy, there has to be more. We're gonna put that option. <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go on for uh, quite a break here, so just to refresh ourselves. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna save this one. This will be SCA episode 028. Okay, so everyone, uh, let's have a break here and refresh ourselves. Hello everyone and welcome back uh, on our recorded gaming sessions here in the stars after that refreshing break. Uh, so let's continue on on what we're uh, currently uh, uh, currently recording right now on our gameplay sessions. 
So for now, um, the uh, war with the Povogan sovereign regions was uh, quite short-lived and the uh, preemptive uh, attack or preemptive uh, war that the uh, SCA uh, launched on the Povogan sovereign regions was uh, a success which uh, nearly destroyed their navy. But despite the, uh, having to destroy their navy, it seems that the Pavogan sovereign forces uh, have been uh, currently uh, probably recuperating from their uh, losses. Or probably their uh, navy is now uh, being strengthened. Anyway, we still have a truce with them until 2237, so that is uh, two years. So, um, yeah. Okay, um, for here we're going to establish uh, uh, a puppet regime here. Potential market survey completed. Oh, well, good to work. So we're going to build a star base here. So this will be a buffer state against the uh, what do you call this? The uh, marauders here. So I'm going to position my troops here at the border again, but this time I'm going to uh, probably annex or at least uh, subjugate potential market the, survey uh, completed. This one, the Pomogan sovereign regions. So let's see if the second uh, human provoking war will uh, will work out. After all, the main purpose of it was to destroy their navy. Um, okay. Well, their navy is a bit inferior, even their economic. So we can just easily uh, uh, we can just easily uh, quash them. So the Scandinavian nation seems to be uh, quite uh, receptive to the SCA because there's a huge distance so there's no uh, what I call this a border war between uh, them. So probably I have to make a buffer state here in this area or establish a buffer state. A buffer puppet state that is. <coughs> Right. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is gonna be a fortress. Uh, okay, so this is the Tengalian uh, station, which is basically an observation post. A system has been surveyed. So just to keep an eye on the southern neighbor. <laughs> Some would dismiss these aliens as little more than filthy savages, but there are those who see merit in studying their culture, such as it is. So this is quite a bit far. Upscaling complete. So we got roll four robot cops, um, and we're almost two months finished. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, two months finished in. Uh, Okay, so they discovered a Leviathan. Uh -huh. So this is quite in the southern area. So for now, uh, we're just gonna put this one on the off limits. So the one that got killed or destroyed was scientist Lian Luo from the SEA Newton. So, uh, Right, uh, in that case, uh, the SA will have to uh, make another uh, a science vessel. Speaking of which, I have to uh, probably update my uh, navy here. Uh, I mean the ship designer. So Canberra will be replaced. Uh, we have to um, get ship's turn. So, its name is Istanbul uh, class. 
Um, the other one will be the artillery destro uh, destroyer. Will be. Um, I don't know. We're gonna go for picket stern with this one. Shantou. So the last one will be a picket uh, picket ship. So dressed in class. Okay, so we got three new classes. One is a gunship destroyer, one is an artillery destroyer, and the other is a picket, which is basically more like an interceptor. Uh, yeah, dimensional horror. Imagine how impressive trophy it could be. Uh, probably since this is a technocracy, they would probably uh, say imagine what they could teach us. But for now, uh, the dimensional horror is out of reach. Our fleet power is at, uh, enough. Research to actualized. Okay, now we got now a droid workers. Um, okay, verification hubs. Okay, I I'm okay with that. <coughs> So we can now send colony ships um, as a workforce here. So we're going to send uh, set the rights of uh, workers. Uh, we're going to allow for colonization. Of course, there is. Uh, we could put them on soldiers as combat androids. Yeah, servitude is for them. That's the only thing they can. Uh, do for now. There won't be any population controls. However, migrations. Oh uh, yeah, okay. It's good that there's a migration. Uh. Okay, uh, we're gonna colonize this one. So we're gonna send a robot colony with this. Um. Well, yeah, Cartage. Um, this one will probably be Yusina. Okay, I'm okay with that. And this will probably be the zombie. Okay. Um, atmospheric hallucinogen. Doesn't matter. New Coventry. That will be the name. Two world. Um, New Jerusalem. Okay, as long as it's a robot colony. So the uh, Arctica sector will probably be composed of a robot colonies, <coughs> since uh, SA humans are not exactly uh, uh, compatible, or they're not exactly uh, other plants were not habitable to them. So the rest will probably be stuck in orbital uh, habitats. So, yeah. Research actualized. Okay, uh, SCA Scout. Uh, we'll probably recruit the youngest. And we're gonna send it on automated uh, exploration. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Upscaling complete. Probably I just have to send him on the research shop. Well, this probably the this probably will build a star base here. Research actualized. Okay, evil capacity will be thirty. Uh, I'll just let my uh, AI do the uh, do the thing here. Okay. Got. So we're probably changing the species rights. Oh, uh, wait, still next year. Okay, so they're deviants and slow breathers. Okay. Um, technology. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna send them on the worker labor force. Uh, okay, we gotta wise to be cautious. So we got that isolationist slug uh, down south. Well, it's okay. It's not a stable. Uh, they're more like they're isolation. They just keep it to themselves. Oh, it seems to be that bribing the uh, uh, bribing the local populace in uh, in Fern is working. Oh, what's this? Uh, productive without experiments. See, no researcher I think I have. No, we don't really care about that. Okay. Potential market survey completed. Okay, uh, no population growth. So there's just only robots here. Mm. I think we should go for Unity. Oh, okay. So it's the, uh, the administrative offices have now been relocated to the uh, Unity category. Didn't know that. Okay, so we got a couple of new buildings here. I'm right, gonna go for droids. Yeah. Right. Uh, hmm. Okay, so what are we missing here? Well, we already got a police force. Okay, so that's... Yeah, we we'll probably need uh, peacekeeping here. Uh, probably administrative. Yeah. Oh, okay, I forgot. Oh, it's already got an admi administrative. Okay. Um, probably I'll be shifting this one with... Uh, uh, administrative. By the way, where's New Lebanon? Oh, okay. We're just gonna... Along with Bardinus. Okay. Huh. Well, anyway, there's three important... Uh, buildings here the administrative the law enforcement and the uh, uh, the soldiers uh, we'll research actualized uh, if this one we'll place this with uh, strongholds okay Right, okay, so it's still a uh, peace time, so there's nothing to worry about with that. Okay, order restored. Going for this big wash. Calm is restored in this. Okay, so excellent. Yeah, it's one way of putting down a rebellion, driving your enemies without exactly, uh... uh there's still... the plant still has a problem with its stability. Situation log revised. Okay, we got... Okay, so where's this located? Just gonna let me finish the excavation first. Okay, 
Okay, so we got some trade. Okay, so probably we're gonna go for uh, luxury uh, residence. I should be focusing on admi administrative. Uh... That's okay. So, this is a factory world. Yeah, I think it is. So we're just gonna put this one as... Um, I think we should put this one... Yeah, I guess it's a factory world. Yeah, I'm okay with, a, with this one being a factory. But actually, uh, on second thought, this should be more like a fortress world. Okay, we get some 400 because uh, the marauders here uh, trespass it on the uh, SA space. Okay. Upscaling complete. Okay, uh, I'll just let the uh... Okay. Alright, uh, now this will go with resource silos. Michigan Station will have to be resource silos. Besides about there's absurd evidence that a mass is fish out to place in the close orbit of Serial with the 5,000 years the surface of the Walter may have picked up several hawks in the ground. Okay, so this is intriguing. Mount Gregor Expedition. Situation log revised. Yeah, okay, they're kind of busy. Future market survey complete. Okay. Fossilizing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mass species that's not available to be found. Mm -hmm. Curious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where is this located? So, uh, okay. this will be New Lebanon. Huh. Asteroid, uh, Comet Sand. Yeah, I guess we'll just... This will be a mining, uh, a mining planet. So this is also going to be designated as a mining planet. Hmm. Uh, deep crust engineering dangerous wildlife. Okay, right. So that's a lot of work. Uh, Okay, this will be a fortress world. Um, I'd like to build a robot colony for the fortress world, but it's too risky. It's 
still. Yeah, it's gonna be a fortress world. They, uh... Quava Station. Ah, okay, so basically this is the buffer of... Okay, so this will be the buffer... Okay, new trade value plus 10, market fee. Um, yeah, we'll go with the specialist for the trade value. <coughs> so, things are going well for the SEA. I'm going to make um, so this has little uh, strategic importance so this will probably be a buffer state for the SEA so we're now in charge of uh, creating new buffer states upscaling complete upscaling complete That's good. Special project actualized. Uh, the team under Sans Office Land Night Carson has finished their expedition in report to the SA Walter Ray. Initially, Starship Grievous provided to be a technological treasure trove. Studying the remains of these vessels has an advantage in our research in certain fields by several years. Then there are yet things to discover. A permanent science outpost would be. Okay. Special project actualized. Factory study, but there was large herbivores. Okay, so basically catching some just wild by. So Zeng Zeng will have to go with this one and uh, uh, get some wildlife called the Wheelie Old Dodora. Uh, uh, not very good at spelling that out. Okay, uh, special project actualized. Okay, the box is indeed a document of a sort of science officer in question when he said they had been hoping for a historical record or some kind of code is significant to whatever culture left it behind, but they were disappointed. The true nature of the aromatic box seems to be the collection of fairly short narratives which going the rapid changes by older towards the end of each sequence as the intended surprise or to be interpreted as comedic. So basically information with the uh, smell. I'm still left with uncomfortable feeling that they have unwittingly become intimately familiar with what certain gaseous byproducts of alien digestion smell like. However, I'm just unwilling to speculate more. Okay, interesting. Research actualized. Okay, how about the edicts? Um, we got 67, so unfortunately most of the edicts here are quite high. Uh, information quarantine would also be okay. Yeah. Upscaling complete. Okay. Potential market survey completed. Okay, that's good. Research actualized. Oh. Right. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna take a short break here. Just very, very short break for now. Okay, I'm back again. I just uh, took a quick break, a quick necessary break. So let's resume our uh, uh, recorded gameplay session here. 
the uh, SCA to be honest okay so we're just gonna change some rules in the uh, some rules here for the uh, uh, for our local Pavogans they're now allowed to be uh, in the military service as soldiers and police uh, police uh, officers just to keep and maintain the peace on occupied uh, SCA worlds Huh. Okay, so uh, uh using recently developed technology, an already extant mining uh, station can now operate a strategic resource. These rare resources confer powerful bonuses and make for valuable trade goods. Two metaphorical avians allegorically struck down by an imaginary projectile. Okay, so this is seems to be a problem. Probably have, have to change the rights again. Uh, probably on the type of uh, uh, slavery type. Well, domestic servitude. Solitary warning. That domestic servants that are not holding another job we employ the servants increases annuities. They cannot. They can perform rule or, or specialist jobs. A system has been surveyed. <coughs> With the sole exception of working as soldiers. About those. Huh. I don't understand, but they make a of soldiers for local armies. They can per. or uh, specialist jobs. Uh, they cannot work at their soldier job. Okay, uh. Okay, this was uh, kind of a mistake. So the indentured servitude means that I can retain more political and they cannot work as entertainers or soldier jobs. Uh, okay, I have more bonuses for local. They cannot perform ruler or specialist jobs. Or specialist jobs with a sort of working as entertainers. Chattel slavery have increased. Okay, so this is quite a problem. So their mostly mode uh, is so they can be employed only as workers, but they but they cannot be um, uh, employed cannot be employed as ruler or specialist jobs. Huh. Uh huh. Slavery, but the other three other options here domestic servitude, and they cannot, they cannot work, entertain, or oh, this is a problem indeed. Well, they're allowed as uh, soldiers. Uh, This is a problem. I, I need soldiers to keep the peace of that area. Uh, probably I'll try with the sole exception of working as soldiers. Okay, probably we'll just put them as soldiers and see if they uh, they could fill up the uh, peacekeeping force. These are specialists. Ah, great. Okay, uh, I, I guess I made a mistake again. Uh, um, they can be employed in work or specialists, but retain more political power than slaves. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go for any species that is suitable. Huh. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, okay, I guess there's not enough populations. Unfortunately, I made a mistake. Um, I made them a battle thrall instead of a domestic. But anyway, uh, that's okay. Uh, so we just have to uh, put them with robots, I guess. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Okay, so I guess I made a mistake with that one. Uh, we're going to make soldier jobs with this one. Well, administrative and soldier jobs would be, uh, uh, I guess that's one of the most important uh, management things in uh, Stellaris. Special project actualized. Okay, we've already completed that. Uh, well. Okay, so probably I'm gonna set this one with automatic exploration. So the main goal of the SA is still find Earth. Unfortunately, from the looks of it, they're kind of pretty much busy with the domestic affairs. Churan is... Uh, a tech world, so probably I'll go set the remaining uh, resources here on the lower as research centers. Okay, the robot colony of uh, Carthage. Mm -hmm. Oh, 2010. Okay, well, just gonna put the whole of judgment for that. So, uh, currently the SCA now is has expanded now to six planets, but the main uh, area is the ring world is mostly occupied by humans. Here we see a breakdown of this planet's population, divided into layers. Okay, and the rest of the planets, the rest of the six planets, is mostly composed of a mix. Colonial a mix of humans, uh, Pobogians, and androids. Upscaling complete. Okay, where is this located? Oh, okay, so it's a border. Order system. Um, Research actualized. Research right, actualized. Uh, now we're gonna go for quick. Potential market survey. Okay, interesting. Oh, gravity mega refiners. Probably I'll uh, change this one with modding for androids. Colonial Enterprise Upsizing. Okay, I guess I'm gonna make a mistake here. I have to uh, change the government or be from the government. 2,230. Yeah, I'll probably uh, change it to a megacorp. <coughs> After all, uh, the Sarah Corporate Alliance is basically a megacorp or a coalition of a megacorp. So, in an extent, it's. Uh, well, they're basically a technocratic mega core. Colonial enterprise upsizing. Okay, uh, how about Cassier? Uh, I'd just like Cassier to uh, deal with that. Research actualized. Things are doing good right now.
Well, Terrible 5 will be probably be a buffer state along with this one. So, um, Future market survey complete. Yeah. So we'll just do, change this one as a buffer state later on. Okay, hello my friend. Okay, it's a deal. Goodbye. Right, so we need to take a hold of this one. Um, so I'm just gonna redirect a science vessel here. Oh, a natural war boss we discovered in the Yemitar system. Well, that's quite far from SEA. Upscaling complete. Okay, salvage fleet. Uh, okay, um, we're just going to scrap a fleet. Okay, so I'm currently having uh, some uh, loading issues here. Okay, and uh, the salvage fleet. Okay, goodbye. So we'll make an alloys out of that. Uh, greetings, I said sent you a return on their term. Is send on, but you still use them. Uh, Gain from scavenging. Okay. So, uh, we're okay with that. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Okay, so we're going to put a police force here. Police house to our uh, Arctica. Okay, um, how's the technology? So we're still on robo modding for about four months. But I will take some time. Enterprise outside. Okay, uh, <laughs> huh, vessels. Okay, so we got uh, a few more colonies in uh, currently being uh, completed. So the SAA is in the process of expanding its territorial borders. Okay, excellent. A system has been surveyed. Yeah, well, that's of little interest to be honest. Future market survey complete. Okay, so we got some uh, digging sites here as well. Okay, are there any vacant science vessels around? Then I suppose. Research actualized. Okay. Ah, okay, so we got uh, Okay, so we got this cute and cuddly isolationist uh, empire. Huh. We got the aliens. Okay, let's see what this one is. Well, there's a natural wormhole, but... Okay. 
energy siphons. <laughs> right, the. Uh, yeah, let's just keep digging. Okay, we can now modify. Okay, and we can construct, I guess. Let's move this one and construct the uh, habitat, space habitat. <coughs> Cartage. Where is Cartage located? Arctic sector. Oh, okay. So it's a robot colony. Um, so we're going to build first a robot assembly plant. Uh, anyway, it's a robot colony. The environments are not exactly that matter. And we can now modify our robotics. Uh, okay, we need domestic protocol, propaganda machines. Uh -huh. So our domestic, uh, high maintenance. Uh, luxurious. Uh, Okay, and uh, let's produce and probably durable propaganda machines. So for their name, they're gonna be uh, super robots. Um, their image, uh, okay, we'll have to change their appearance. Okay, let's create the template, and this template should be all planet wide. The situation log well. revised. Um, not sure how long would it take. Probably a couple of months. We haven't been building up our military here. Oh my, they got a giant ass fleet with this one. Um, we're gonna put up some defenses here. So, how many defenses do we have? Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Okay, so we're gonna be like platforms with this one. Okay, uh, we could reform our government. Um, well, we could reform them as a makeup or future market survey. Okay, so complete. probably we're just gonna reform them as a makeup corp. Um, well, basically they're scavengers, they're good skin. And, um... Probably naval contractors or private military companies. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess that'll be okay. Because I figured out it wouldn't be a corporate alliance if it wasn't a mega corp, so that was my mistake. But uh, for lore purposes, I'm just gonna set this one as a mega corp originally. We're not gonna go think of it as a, as a, as a, what do you call this? Technocracy. Okay, I uh, have to. Uh, Take a look at that at my house. <laughs> Something uh upscaling complete. Upscaling complete. No automation stockpile. Oh, okay, so I guess we have to uh, put more funding for this one. 
okay with that. Oh, probably I made a mistake. I think I should, uh... Oh, basically it's a unified government. Good okay, I, I made another mistake with that. I'm going to reform it once I uh, have Future my unity back. Complete. So for this one, you see now, we're going to... Uh, put them on... Uh... Robot factory. Okay, we got the epic aliens. Basically, they're ratchet industrial enterprise on screen. Humans, we greet you. We are coming to this Okay. And the numistic order. Okay. Oh, good. So. Oh, basically, they're a uh, chores compass. Okay, then no, no, I'm okay with that. Good business is where you find it. Keep the, uh, where's they located, I guess? Oh. Uh, well, we could settle for, uh... This is a stronghold. Okay, so I guess... There's short compass, so okay. So we we'll can contact the ratchet anytime, anyway. They're just on the borders. Research actualized. Research actualized. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just go keep it as a mega corp. Uh, so I'll corporate alliance. So for lore purposes, they're a mega corp. Probably I have to change it later on. The government. Colonial enterprise established. Uh, or at least the story narrative. Huh. Well, decisions. Uh, there's no pulp roll at the same time and. Okay, so we're just gonna compose some robots with them. But this will be a buffer state. Uh, okay, uh, what do we have on screen? Okay, so they're isolationist and pacifist, which is good for us. Although they're xenophobe, they don't like uh, anybody meddling with their business. But as long as they're, uh... oh, they're also a corp, the Masera Corporation. Uh, okay, as long as they don't interfere with our endeavors, we have a quite fairly large empire up here. Ooh. Yeah, they almost have uh, some territories here in this area. Future market survey complete. Okay, so I have to make a buffer state here. Huh. Age of 85, so my scientist died. We're just gonna replace this one with. Uh... Okay, so the others will be. Oh, don't have unity. Huh, that's the problem. Um, okay, I guess we... Oh, great. Both of them died. So we got the... Uh... Ah, okay. So we don't have scientists for the moment. Uh, we got too big. Okay, so I'm just uh, gonna reshuffle this one. Good business is where you find it. Right. Okay, so I guess that's the... Okay, which area is Nozzle? Ah, okay. So we're just robotic colony. So we're going to put them under decision. No robot, uh, no biological uh, hop. 
Okay. Let's talk to the other side of that. Okay, uh... uh stuff's all popped up, but they're kind of lacking right now with the union points. Same goes with this one. Okay, decisions, decisions. Uh, guess we have to. Okay, no pop go to this. Um, okay. Um, cartridge is the pop growth. Right. Good business is where you find it. Okay, uh, this one should have no pop growths as well. Uh, for now we're just gonna build a robot population. I mean, a uh, robot. Okay, low. Okay, so I guess that will be all for now for, um, for, uh, our uh, second uh, episode on the Sarah Corporate Alliance. So this will be recorded as SCA episode 02B. Let's save that. So for those who are watching this, thank you for uh, staying tuned and see you on our next uh, recorded gaming session again. See you around next time. <laughs>